I just finished recording my reaction to the full hour and 20 minute first episode of Ocean Co for Patreon. It was just so much. You know when like this happened. Wow. It was just such an emotional roller coaster. I was originally only going to do the first episode reaction on Patreon, but I feel like the anime is so good I should keep going. Plus, I got a subscription to High Dive, so it only makes sense. And technically, I do have a void to fill because I just finished doing full length episode reactions to Bochi the Rock. So, it's there. I do other animes on the Patreon, but... This one just feels right, so I think I'm going to do it. On to the music. This is Queen Bee performing Mephisto. Now, of course, I've only heard Queen Bee once before. I believe it was Chainsaw Man ending 11. That was an interesting piece of music. You can always go check that video out to see my take on it. Before we get into the music, of course, the last thing I do need to tell you, this is a surface-level musical analysis video, which means I stop and rewind quite a few times. So if that's not your thing, don't complain to me about it in the comments. That's just how I do it, man. All right, let's go. Well, that's a cool transfer of music energy. Okay, this intro is really, really nice. Uh, the string trio is beautiful. The arrangement's very nice, but it's the counterpoint for me. It's the way the melodies are inter like they're weaving together. Great writing. I need to appreciate this one more time. And that bass drum drop was very interesting. You don't normally get that. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Very cinematic. What a different place we went from that string intro into this, and we're getting -na 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 getting a little bluesy here. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, let's keep in it. Here comes the voice. Last chance ni上げた爪先が踊り出すまま掛けたこの夜空波のスタンスじゃ伸びかない星は宝石の憧れ。Okay, cool. So I have not heard Queen Bee since that last performance that I listened to. I got to say the vocal, the the styling, very, very familiar. I like it. It sounds good so far. I'm, I'm, I'm into what's going on. What I really like is how open and smooth and just almost not even present the electric bass sound is. I'm such an advocate for bass normally, but I feel like it really fits here. Because we have so many other little embellishments uh, with strings, maybe not right in the beginning of this verse, but they do come in. And then the harmony is super strong and super present because the bass is, not, is mixed down. I can't believe I'm like saying, yeah, mix the bass down because normally I'd be like, hey, man, mix it up. But it works really well right here. So let's let's get this verse again and just... Just listen down to the bass line and then how the harmonies and strings come in. <laughs> I love the quarter triplet phrasing. Yes. Love, love, love. Okay, this one I'm digging more. Also, I, uh, those of you that are fans of the channel, you know I always listen below the lyrics and don't necessarily look, but I happen to be looking a little bit and having context of, of doing a reaction to the first episode. Obviously, I know what's going on, so I feel like the lyrics are matching pretty well. But I try to stay out of the lyrics. We want to we want to talk about the music. So let's just go back 10 seconds and grab this transition where we're going to go here because the quarter note triple thing was jam, and that was very, very nice. <laughs> I do like the effects that do.
愛をかけて。All those cool effects and the string thing comes in. Okay, so there's a lot of like vocal things happening as far as like not real tones. You know, there's all like a lot of like effect on the voice and post, but it's cool though. It works within this one, it definitely works. And also, we have our obligatory halftime groove. If you're hanging out here, you know, we talk about this stuff all the time. You know, it's there. It's a very normal、uh, chorus breakdown, but I need to get it again because I feel like there might have been some piano in there. There's too many layers to try to hear on the first one. I went back a chunk. I don't know if this is far enough. Not really. Let's go back another chunk here. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. So we get the statement, the ridiculous, because of the context of what's going on in the show with the lyric that's on the screen, and then the echo back. So it's kind of a call and response all within from the same person, which is pretty neat. So, sorry, one more time, one more time, back to And of course, underneath that is big, long, open chords. It really feels like we have chordal guitar, we have chordal keyboards, and massive amounts of like, you know, synth layers that are just supporting all of this. And, and the chords are, you know, changing very, very slow. So the focus is obviously the voice line. Okay. I like, you know what? I like this one. This is cool so far. Similar stuff. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I feel like there's some palm mute guitar stuff going on in this verse that might not have been present the last time. I'm not totally sure just because I kind of geeked out on the,、uh, the chorus there. Let's go back. Let's go back 10 seconds. I feel like there's just more guitar involvement that's supporting the little、um, string nuances that are underneath the voice. Yeah, I feel like this was not there the last time.、So、that transition happened before, too. I didn't really talk about it. It's almost like a static y, it's, it's such a low end hit there, and it like hits me in the ears pretty hard. I don't know what you're listening to or how you're listening to it, but that one for me on my side is pretty freaking loud. But I, want, I need it one more time. <laughs> Let's go back. It kind of hurt. Let's do it again. That's wild. Almost distorted percussion like. <laughs> Dang, I've forgotten whoever lived. Wow, powerful impact lyric there. Uh, anyway, did you hear the little cool、uh, choral guitar stuff going on underneath? That's not a nice back 10 to grab that again. Nothing much to say there, right? It's a great guitar solo. The engineering, the design supporting it is awesome. I think my, and the guitar feature s o u n d e d great, but I think my favorite part was my left side was a、mm, bump, 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 just our little space, quarter, 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 just the accompaniment from the other guitar line. I think that was great. That was a perfect design. Back five, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, yes, piano. So, obvious,、uh, pretty layered build up, right? We have bang, 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 zh, gh, 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 pretty,、uh, you know, like a normal obligatory way to, to、uh, introduce that, I guess. But the, the way the chords underneath are functioning with the, their voice, I think it sounds really good. And we still get enough of the stylistic, like,、um, 
I don't know, just the way tones are used, the way vowels are shaped vocally. I don't really have, I can't, I'm an instrumentalist, man. I don't have the vocabulary to say that with any bit of like intelligence other than I'm just trying to say the inflections sound like Queen B and it, but it sounds, I only had, this is granted. This is like, I had A experience. This is B experience. I really prefer B experience so far. I like this little quarter tone movements. They're pretty cool. So obviously in that last um, chunk of the chorus there, we have a more, um, you could call that like, I don't know, the, the second version of it because it was a much more augmented style, of course, because if all the different variations of the hi-hat that they threw in there, that was pretty cool. And it might have felt a little more expansive as far as our chord voicings go. But the uh, vocal and the style of harmony felt very familiar as the previous one. So pretty good. Back five. Let's get it out here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was okay. All right. That was a nice ending. And I will admit I was reading some lyrics there. And obviously you're seeing Aqua and Ruby on the on the on the screen there. So it feels very, very uh, kind of dedicated to them on the way out. So uh, I like this one. This was a good ending. And so far, my favorite. I only know two. But definitely my favorite Queen Bee song. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm excited for the show. Come to the Patreon. Check out the episode reactions. I can't wait to keep them going. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. You can find the link to all my socials down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please and thank you. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.